Uh, I guess we should. I guess let's let's start with the MJF thing because uh, I, you know, there was a couple of stories out there about you know he is you know leaning towards WWE and and I, you know, I, thinking I I, <laughs> I, I I just gotta say I I don't want to say it's a non-story, but to me it's kind of like I mean it's cool to debate it and everything like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's I mean it's, I mean and 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 I mean it's not like I'm saying the story isn't true because it is probably I mean as far as leaning you know it's like you know it's not an issue until 2024 yeah. and in 2024 the entire landscape of this business could be identical and it could be completely different so like in 2024 he will he will likely make the smartest decision for him and what that decision is i'm sure he is smart enough to know that he doesn't know you know what i mean he's not you know and everything like that i expect that the fact that cody has done very well in wwe makes WWE more viable to him um, for a lot of reasons. But, you know, if AEW makes the better offer, I mean, it's not like he's looking and going like, you know, I'm going to WWE. You know, like, like there were guys in WCW, you know, just Jericho, perfect example, right? Chris Jericho in WCW got a much better offer from WCW than WWE, but it was just like, WCW sucks. I got to get out of here. I want to go to WWE. And he did, Okay. I don't think Max is going to be that guy. I think Max is going to go in there and go like, you know, at that time, whatever the offer is and whatever the landscape is. If if WWE creatively is just doing really poor and AEW is passing them by, um, is he going to jump on the other one? Well, I mean, if they offer him way more money, he probably would. But, um, you know, and if AEW is just completely faltering and they offer him way more money than WWE, you know, then you got a decision. But most likely, you know, if they're in the same position that they both are in today in 2024, you know, he'll probably go with whoever gives him the best offer. And, uh, you know, it's like that's who who would want him the most. And if AEW can afford it, you know, which, you know, I mean, they always look, they always can afford it if they really want it, of course. But obviously, if their new TV deal, you know, if they get if they get a big increase in their TV rights, they'll be able to afford it a lot more. Um, you know, this week's a real big week because um, I believe uh, Wednesday is the uh, Turner upfronts. And, you know, it, there's already been some publicity on it and AEW is absolutely being featured. And, you know, and they should be. I mean, it went, it went, okay. Originally they were going to be heavily, heavily featured. Then it got toned down. And then now they're, heavily heavily featured again maybe not as heavily as in sta stage one but heavily featured and you know i saw you know stories where they're talking about their you know the whole thing and and you know they're talking about their sports and they mentioned aew but aew is on that station for the whole season next year no matter what so you're going to do that anyway but you know if you were kind of like it, it it feels like between that and um i was out um what night tuesday night i was out with some friends um and we were out at uh at a place and the nba game was on and we saw commercials for aw and even on the screen you know the crawl underneath where they have all this sports stuff you know it's mentioned you know watch aw dynamite on wednesday and things like that so it's like the 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 warner network um and and one of my friends uh, mike nay actually uh was was texting me during because he's a super big NHL fan and he's texting me during the game talking about uh, you know that they had four mentions in one of the games he saw so they're not shying away from it or anything like that all all of the mentions and all of the stuff like that and being heavily featured on the upfronts I would all take as good news now the decision on what everything is going to be is going to be made based on late 2022 maybe early 2023. So we're not so far away that we shouldn't discuss it. But, you know, this week is it's this week is what I would call a good sign. But the real sign would be, you know, several months later, you know, ratings um, at the end of the year are a lot more important than ratings now. I mean, at the end of the year, the ratings for for um, AW uh, towards the latter part of this year are absolutely super important. <laughs> Don't I mean, anyone who doesn't think I mean, they are super important. Um, 
you know, right now, I'm sure that everyone's looking at it and just going like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm sure that there's look when when you're number one on your night with the exception of basketball, that's a good thing. Now, they were not uh, on Wednesday. They actually fell very, very slightly behind 90 Day Fiance. They were both 0.33, but 90 Day Fiance had a few more viewers um, in 1849. So they were they were actually behind that. But that's still pretty strong. They were, and they, they beat several network shows on um, in this, an hour two, I think. In hour two, um, as I recall, I think um, I think one of the networks beat them, of the four, um, or of the, th- the no of the four of the four networks. I think Fox may have been Fox may have beaten them. I think maybe maybe um, CBS might have too. I'm not sure, but um, they beat two of the networks, and you know obviously they lost to the NBA, and then they beat everything else on cable. So I mean. You know, when people look at this number Wednesday as a negative, um, it, it was not a negative. Just like the Monday Raw number. Yeah, it's down. It is not. That Monday Raw number was not a negative either. And he'd and he, and he, and he beat some network programming, too. Uh, so, I, I mean, going back to the MJF thing, you, your reporting has been pretty consistent on this in that it's a negotiation. And, you know, he's going to look at whatever the, the best offer is. And it's really early. So, but 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 he's definitely playing the game, right? So that and that's what it seems like is he's. Oh sort no, no, of, he is. He he's is sort he of is. negotiating and you I, know I, 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 putting I, feelers sure out there want, in the press. I'm sure he wants it out, and I mean, you know, like I'm sure he studies what sports guys do, which most wrestlers don't, and you know that's why we're going to have what we're going to have. Um, and you know, like again, like you know, the stuff is like I, I'm sh- there's there's there, there's smoke to the fire. Like it's like in the sense of. You know, is he completely thrilled, uh, you know, or whatever? I mean, I, I think a lot of people think like maybe, you know, you know, maybe he wants more money. You know, there's going to be guys there who look at, um, you know, what they're making compared to what other people are making, especially him because he came in as, un, as you know, I wouldn't say unproven because when he signed his contract, because okay, so he, he's a lot of people don't know this about him. OK, when he started in AEW, he was under contract to court. And MLW for for a while, and AEW was paying him and using him, and and you know Court Bauer MLW allowed that. He was not going to stop anyone from working for AEW because they would still they could still work for him. I mean, like he was using contracts to keep people from WWE because WWE would not let those guys still work for him. So he worked for him, and then when the deal was up, I think everyone knew that obviously he was not going to resign with MLW. So then he signed a deal with uh, AEW. But he was still, at that point, not the star that he is today. So, you know, whatever it is, he is a bigger star. And I'm sure in his mind, he is a he feels he's a better investment than what he's getting paid. I would think he would think that. He hasn't actually said that to me. Um, but, you know, I can't say, ha- you know, he hasn't hinted it either. But but I mean, the whole the whole point is, is that I, I would think he thinks that and, and he's right to think that. And the whole deal is, is so you make it up in your, you know, like all athletes, you know, some, you know, you know what I mean? You go in, you know, with the, your, your, so, you know, your rookie contract, right. And you play really great. And then, you know, in, in sports, in, in whether it's fighting or baseball or whatever, your earnings peak is usually the tail end or even after your athletic peak or your performing peak, because you get paid more, the more time you are there and you kind of make up at the end what you didn't make in the beginning, if you last long enough, which a lot of people don't do, but he will, provided he doesn't get hurt, he's going to be, the guy's going to be, you know, a headliner for, you know, maybe 20 more years. And I mean, and maybe longer even, or maybe a little less, but certainly 15 more years, unless he just, you know, whatever gets fed up. And I don't see that happening. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of twists and turns. It's a story, but I don't, I kind of consider it a non-story because until, um, you know, until the, at, at the end of 2013, it's a big story or early 2014. It's a big story. But um, today it's like there's so many things that have to happen. And, and the AEW uh, rights negotiations are a huge part of that story. That is the overriding biggest story in wrestling. It will be going on at the end of this year and early next year. And that's the one that we'll probably be talking about constantly because the entire future of the balance of power in wrestling is dependent on that story because we already know wwe is going to have enough money they're always going to be there and they're they're going to be there and they're going to be you know whatever aw will probably always be there 
but how competitive they will be is is very determined in these negotiations. I also wonder Cody's influence being somebody who knows everybody at AEW, and I'm sh- I imagine that's the first contact. You know, people who are like, "Oh, how is it over there?" Because you know, the, there's this idea that you know maybe WWE will be a little bit more open to um, you know creating situations for for some of these wrestlers that 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 will be beneficial to their wrestling yeah. career. Okay, but here, here's the thing. When it comes to, and this just goes to MJF especially, you know, if if um, is even WWE, it's like okay, in WWE, the question becomes okay, Vince is almost seventy seven years old. Holy fuck, yeah, seventy six. That's that's. <laughs> I mean, I know this, but it's like when I, when I say it, it kind of is like, oh my god. Vince is almost 77 years old. Um, who is to say what he will be able to do, what he won't be doing two, three years from now? I mean, there's no way of knowing. And if he's not there, who ends up there? Because that becomes a big deal because whoever mm-hmm. ends up there, they may have a very different view. Like they may, you know, some people are going like, oh, Vince will never five foot 10, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Vince is like that. Vince may not be there. Will it be Levesque? You know, I mean, like we, we used to always say, oh, it's going to be Levesque, right? But there's a lot of the strikes against Levesque, the, the obvious ones. The health one is a big one. Mm-hmm. The performance in, of NXT is a is a big one. But where Levesque comes in strong is they haven't groomed anybody else. They got Bruce, who's older than Levesque. Um, and, you know, I mean, running, you know, really running creative. I mean, Bruce, I mean, that's. You know, Bruce is good as a yes man for Vince, you know, and telling Vince what he wants to hear. But, you know, I mean, I, as far as like how in touch he is with with it, I mean, all I know is that when he was Bruce was in MLW years ago and all I heard was, oh, my God, like Cornette's way more up to date than this guy, which was scary to hear, you know, obviously. But um, but, you know, I mean, Bruce is very good at, at working with Vince. But I mean, like, who is going to be who's going to be the guy? I mean. I'm sure Sean Michaels wouldn't want that schedule. I mean, I'm just throwing out a name. You always got Heyman, but I don't know, like, you know, I mean, Heyman, Heyman's very, very smart at a lot of things. I don't know that Heyman, you know, he, you know, for the money, I suppose he might want it, but I don't know that they would ever give that to him because he's Paul Heyman. You know what I mean? It's like, there's, um, but I mean, it's like, I mean, who, who's going to be the guy. And that's one of the things with, 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 uh, Again, we're talking 2024. Um, you know, there's so many variables. There's so many variables. Um, of, you know, to, to to talk about, like people were like, "Oh, you know, you know, it's like they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna want him. He's this way." It's like, you know, who knows who's gonna be in charge? Who knows? You know, how much money Tony's gonna want him? You know, maybe Tony won't want him. Who knows? Maybe Tony's gonna create another star and he's expendable or whatever. I, you know, there's no way of knowing. Um, it is something, you know, it's we've, we've talked a lot about it now uh, on, on something yeah. that's really a non-story for another, you know, almost two years. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.